Hey everybody, my name is Steve Moore. I'm the owner of Run More, this brick and mortar running shop right behind me in Westminster, Maryland. Thanks so much for checking us out. And uh, today we're gonna be talking about the new Brooks Adrenaline 21. This is a November 2020 release date. I'm actually filming this October 5th of this year, um, but luckily we actually already got a run of shoes in. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to list them on our website yet, and you can't get them on Brooks Running. You can't get them really anywhere online until November 1st. But if you're lucky enough to have a shop like ours or your own local running shop nearby, you can pick them up most likely during October, although you won't have the full run of colors until November. So this is one of two of Brooks' most popular shoes. So just to let you know, Brooks actually is the number one sold running shoe in run specialty. You know, the brand Brooks is number one. Um, you know, I think a lot of people just assume it's gonna be like a Nike or something, but it is Brooks. And this, and the Ghost, its companion shoe, are the top selling shoes, not only here, but for the Brooks family. This version has changed um, dramatically over the last couple years. So if you were running in the Brooks Adrenaline for a long time, up until version 18, you had that traditional medial posting on the old Adrenaline. Like right along here, it was really firm and it was really stiff and it had like this piece of posting. And if you flipped it over, you could actually see sort of like a big chunky piece here. And it was a different color most of the times. And it gave you an idea and it gave us an idea when you came into our shop that you were wearing a stability model shoe. So just to sort of show you what that might look like, this is my old beast. My old beast had that same type of technology because that's what they were doing on all their stability shoes. So you can see you this giant big piece of, of plastic and such on this medial side. This really gave a lot of support for somebody who needed lateral, medial support. So about two years ago, they got away from that technology and introduced these guide rails. The guide rails have been really popular. It wasn't Brooks' idea. This, is, this idea of guide rails has been around for some time, but they really have adopted it. And I'm gonna go in a little bit later about all the different ways that you're gonna see it moving forward, how it's been adopted. But essentially what I mean by guide rails is it's got this piece right here on the medial side and right here on the lateral side. So the best way I can describe that, how I describe it to customers when they come in the shop, is think of it as like a horseshoe that's just sitting behind your heel. And every time you try to rotate laterally, medially, no matter what you do, no matter which way you're going, it's gonna try to hold you into more of a neutral posture. And that's gonna take pressure off your ankles, off your knees, off your hips. Even if you open up a box of a, a, a Brooks running shoe box, it has a whole little diagram of how this new holistic approach is gonna help with knees and ankles and everything else by keeping everything nice and in line. And as I tell people when they come in here and we fit them out, you know, if we can kind of get your foundation right, if we can get your feet going in the right way, a lot of times things will just kind of line up. But if you're already taking a step and something is going the wrong way, no matter which way it's gonna go, um, your knee goes out of line, everything goes out of line, your form goes out of line. So if we can fix it at the root cause right here in the foot, a lot of stuff fixes itself. Not always, but at least it gives us a better fighting chance than if we have our shoe pushing us the wrong way. So what we find a lot of times with the old Adrenaline, because it was just a really popular shoe and people would pick it up because it was a really good name, Brooks, and it had an Adrenaline. And a lot of time it was recommended by a friend or family member or doctor or whatever, that if, hey, you're new to running and you want some stabilization, if you need a stable shoe, get the Adrenaline. What we were seeing a lot happening is that people that maybe didn't need that much support were being bopped out to the outside. So when people would come in here with an Adrenaline and we saw a lot of wear on the lateral side, we would say, maybe there's too much, let's push you back in the middle. Or maybe you had a foot that was moving different than the other and we would look and see like more wear on one side and more wear on the other side. And my goal always is when you come in and get shoes and I see you in 500 miles, like I would love to come have you come back and see like we have a little more consistent wear pattern, especially between the two shoes. Not just both shoes having a medial side or wear, whatever. We wanna see right down the middle on both of them. And that means we know we corrected it the right way. If you're only having support on one side and the exact same amount of support, it might affect your foot differently. It might affect each foot differently. So these guide rails really are almost like independent suspension. So if you need one support on one, one on the other, it will sort of adjust accordingly. And that's why we also like the shoe a lot for people that were coming off of an injury because you might be favoring one side, you might be moving differently on one side than the other. So by having each set of guide rails, if you're bouncing one way on one and not so much on the other, it'll correct one without affecting the other. Um, so that made it really nice. The beauty of having bumpers and guide rails is that if you don't need any of the help, you can still both strikes. You can still go right down, right between those two bumpers and not worry about the side protection. So that's why it's also great if somebody who's coming off of an injury, not only when they first get into it, if they might be favoring one side, but as they start maybe getting back to their traditional mobility that they had pre-injury, they might not need that. Where if your old stability shoe, you came in here and you said, look, I'm dealing with, I'm dealing with a bad injury and I really need to stabilize myself. My doctor said I need adrenaline, no problem. 
we've now fixed that, but now we don't need it, and now we've overcorrected it. So depending on where you're going, now you might have a whole different set of injuries. Maybe now you're, you're, you're affecting the outside of your foot. You know, somebody comes in and says they have like outside ankle pain. Maybe I feel like we've rotated too much that way. Um, so depending on what you were doing, you might now have overcorrected the problem and opened up a whole other set of injuries. So by having this guide rail technology, it has really prevented a lot of, of secondary injuries that could come along the board, but also has really helped people that have one foot or the other, or just need that good traditional stability that this shoe offered. When they first made that change in 2019, we did have people that came in here and they said that on their, I'm sorry, when they went to the Adrenaline 19, people felt like they didn't have quite the same stability. They were used to that posting. I think people would come in and they'd say, well, I'm, I'm so used to that chunked out version here and that really firm, plasticky feel down here lower on the, on, on the shoe that I don't feel as supported in the shoe. But as we've kind of got into this new approach from Brooks, we, I mean, rarely ever have somebody come in and say, I used to be a fan of the Adrenaline. I felt like it wasn't stable enough. And now I had to move on to something else. And if you're one of those people who really are sad about this new change and you don't like the guide rail idea and you want that big medial support that we talked about in my old beast, you know, we just did a review on something like the New Balance 860 and that's still a traditional stability model shoe that just has that medial support. So if you have made that transition from an old adrenaline to a new adrenaline and you're one of those people that just felt like it's lost something in the stability side, Pop on over, check out the review, or check out a couple other options that might just be a traditional medial support. I think I think this has been a nice job of, of that balance between cushion and stability because when you had that big medial support, that plasticky, hard, boxy feel, um, it did take away some of the cushion. So by raising this up on the heel and by putting our support a little bit higher, we can now continue to have this nice DNA loft that goes through it. So this shoe is sort of the companion shoe to the Brooks Ghost. As I mentioned, those are sort of their most, two most popular shoes. So if we're looking at an Adrenaline and we're looking at a Ghost, you know, they look very similar here. And so then here we look at the lateral side and you can see that is sort of what's doing. It's built on the same platform. And so people that liked the Ghost or they, someone, you know, friend, neighbor, whatever says you should try the Ghost, but we come in and we find that they need a little bit more stability. It's an easy pivot over to, over to the Adrenaline. If you've been following Brooks for some time, you've starting to see some of their lines get trimmed down. They've been kind of getting rid of some of the excess fat, cutting lines that maybe weren't as important to them. And this is gonna be a focal point in 2021. So if, if you are somebody who likes this guide rail or maybe you are in the more neutral version but something happened and maybe you just feel like you want that guide rail, you just wanted to try it and you've always been a glycerin person but now maybe you feel like you don't feel as good, maybe you're a little more wobbly in it, you can pivot over. So if you were somebody who said, hey, I loved, I loved the launch, they're fast, lightweight, tempo, gym, whatever, but you feel like you need that support, here's our launch, well then it's an easy pivot over to your Ravenna. So now the Ravenna has the guide rails, same thing as the Adrenaline that we just talked about. So here is that lightweight tempo trainer shoe with guide rails. Same thing moving up to the big Max Cushion Glycerin. Here's your Max Cushion Glycerin. So this is sort of the, the big sibling to the Ghost as far as cushion and just a little bit more DNA loft all the way through it. Same thing, you love this shoe, but maybe you need a little bit more stability or maybe you're doing longer miles, your form's getting sloppy, training for a marathon, whatever it may be. It's an easy pivot over here to the Transcend. Transcend now is our glycerin. And you can see even the way that they, they use the same, the same mold, they're using the same everything on this shoe. You can see the same dimpled approach and everything just adding these guide rails. So what we're gonna see in 2021, as I mentioned that they're making a really big concerted effort to sort of highlight that guide rail is some of the names of your shoes are gonna be changing in 2021. They are really trying to talk about the Adrenaline GTS as their signature shoe. So we're gonna see shoe names being renamed, renamed and sort of having a one and then the GTS. And that, will and that will sort of dictate if you're more of the neutral or needing the guide rail support of that shoe. So stay tuned. I don't wanna to give too much away, but um, you're gonna see some big changes in 2021, not just on some of the naming of shoes, getting rid of some shoes, but we're also gonna be seeing um, less options as far as like color go. I know that's craziness, but for us, that's one of the hardest things to keep up with is some of these brands, um, I'm not gonna name any of them, but they might make 10 colors of a shoe, but then they only, might only have inventory on three in a size eight, or whatever it may be. So we're gonna start seeing in 2021, some shrinking of the options and options that are like, oh, you like this color in a ghost? Well, guess what? They have the exact same thing in the adrenaline now. So you are gonna see less colors and we're gonna see the same colors represented in different models. So that's what was one of the things we'll see in 2021. But as far as the adrenaline goes, this is our mid cushion stability shoe that we are talking about with the horseshoe support on the heel. 
This is their shoes lighter like we just talked about, like the Ravenna, and heavier like we just talked about with the, Gilles, or the Transcend. So this is gonna be your everyday shoe. And as far as going back to, 20, to the version before, the version 20, we have just shed a little bit of weight. So on the men's, we have gone from 10.6 down to 10.4. So here's our men's. 10.6 down to 10.4. On the female, we went from 9.3 down to 9.1. So just a little bit less. As far as the upper, there has been a change from the previous generation. So before we'd been talking about their 3D last, and it had really been designed to be like this sock-like upper that sort of molded around your foot. So it would stretch, and you could see how nicely it did stretch around people's feet. If somebody was, maybe they needed a little more width and they didn't want to go to a wide, they can get a little bit more forgiveness because the shoe would adapt around your foot. So now we've had this new engineered, um, more breathable upper, and it definitely feels a little bit lighter. I think that might be where some of the weight shed on this because a lot of the framework looks pretty similar before, but it definitely feels feels a little more airier um, and it definitely feels a little bit lighter and more breathable. The breathability thing on some of the 3D stretch, uh, that while, while I really do like that concept about the stretch around your foot, it could get a little bit warmer. I think this that they really were trying to make uh, highlight the fact that it's more breathable and it does feel more breathable. This sizing still feels great on this. That's one of the nice things with Brooks is you can feel pretty consistent across the board um, that if you are you know 11 and a half, you're going to be fine pivoting over to 11 and a half in the new version. Some of the stuff a few generations ago, especially in the adrenaline, if you were in like the pre, like the adrenaline 17, 18. A lot of times we found we had to go up a half. We haven't really had that much of an issue with that on the, on the new stuff. Again, because it feels pretty roomy. And now by making it more breathable, um, I think that's going to help people that, that may be on the cusp of needing a different width feel comfortable in this version. Uh, speaking of widths, that's one nice thing with the adrenaline, as they've done in previous generations, they have a lot of options. So if you're on the female side, you can go down to a narrow, you can go down to an, to an A, or you can go all the way to a 2E. So you can go all the way across the board. Same thing on the men's. You can go down to a narrow to a B, all the way up to a 4E. So that really, again, gives you a lot of options. Um, and there's a bunch of fun colors in it. This is just the first color that we have. But come November 1st, on our website, online, you'll be able to find this shoe in a variety of different flavors that kind of fit your need. And again, this is, this is gonna be one of those years where you can get a bunch of stuff and then moving forward, perhaps there might be as many options to fit your individual needs on the Brooks line. So um, $130, that price point has stayed the same now for I think about two years. So uh, if you like this shoe, when it comes out November 1st, feel free to hop over our website. I'll have a link below at letsrunmore.com. Enter promo code, save 10%. We'll ship it out for free. And that goes across the board on all the shoes on our website. So I appreciate everybody's support. And uh, if you have been one of those people that were in a previous generation of this shoe um, and then they get the guide rails came and you didn't feel as stable, mention it down in the comments. I just like hearing, hearing people's feedback on that. If you felt like you lost a little bit of the stability when they went to the guide rails in the, G, in the GTS 19. Just curious if you had any negative feedback or if you had positive feedback going from just that medial support to the guide rail system. And if you have any shoe related questions, feel free to leave it down below. I'll try to get back to you the best I can. Um, I enjoy reading the, shoe, the, the questions below and I do my best to, to get back to you as soon as possible. So thank you so much for the support. Thanks for shopping local. And um, if you enjoyed this review and you want to get some more fun information from us, uh, give us a like and a subscribe. It really helps us find new people out there in, in the YouTube's world. So stay safe, happy running, and enjoy this wonderful fall running time here in Maryland. It's the best. I hope wherever you are, you are having a, such as great weather as we are enjoying this fall temps. So thanks, guys.